y'all seen the new S hole they put in these doggone Troy Belt MTD uh, Cub Cadets? Uh, they're putting this new, I call it hurricane symbol in the center hole, but it, they call it the S center hole. I'm going to show you how to convert it over to a regular MTD. Stand by. The reason we're talking about changing over to the old style MCD is number one, have you tried to price these things if you can find them? These blades, they want ridiculous amounts of money. Well, this customer come in, he had a blowout. Blew to bearings. He said, put all three brand new spindles on this machine and new blades and he wanted it converted over after we talked and I showed him what was going on. So we're gonna convert him over and guess what? Yep, T-Bone has got a chart. I can convert all the part numbers over to the new spindles. I also have numbers for the uh, center shafts and bearings. So on this Z54, don't go by what I'm showing you now. Go by the chart that I'm going to show you later. You'll need to look up your model number and then the part numbers for what you're looking for. Because when they come in, there's different. This even says Cub Cadet, MTD, Troy, the same thing. Folks, uh, what you're looking at here, making sure that your housing assembly is going to be the same height. Obviously, <laughs> part of that one's gone. I'm going to make sure that your shaft is going to be the same length. Well, it goes that way. But anyhow, making sure that that is the same length. Make sure that your pulley, your your diameter, height, and all that is the same on the pulleys. Double check that before you put them on the machine. Uh, but these part numbers I'll show you in a little bit here. Uh, will convert all of these new part numbers back to the old style. So let's get into showing you how easy it is to change these out. Before I show you about taking those out, I'll also show you how to do these shafts. You can just put shafts in. Now the bearings, now I'm gonna try to get a picture up close in the screen. There's a little number right here, 6204 on this particular bearing, but you can look that up, that 6204, order your new bearings and put in here. Uh, some of these have grease fittings, some don't. Let's see, does this one have? Nope, no grease fitting. If you've got these and they got grease fittings, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, don't waste your grease. The only way you'll wanna do grease is if you just take a little pick screwdriver, pick one seal out, throw it in on the floor, pick a seal out, put it in that way. Pick a seal out, put it in that way. That way your open bearings are to the center of this chamber. Then you can actually get grease in your bearing and leave your, say you got this one up here, your uh, seal by my thumb is gone. The one by my finger here is still in there. That'll hold the grease. And you can do that, grease them, and your grease fittings will actually work. Otherwise, don't waste your time. Now let's get in and take them on these spindles part. All right, so I'm gonna show you how easy it is. If you just wanna do this center shaft, uh, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. And if you don't have an impact wrench, you can wedge your board up underneath here by your blade in the deck and it'll hold it still and then take your pull handle and break this loose. So hold your ears, folks. Just that quick. Now when you're doing these, you're gonna wanna inspect this pulley See how fine those notches are in there? Make sure it's not damaged. If it's damaged, you're gonna to wanna to replace the pulley. Most of the time, if you hadn't hit something, it's gonna be okay. So now, slide that off, slide that off. And what I'll do, and these, a lot of times, they'll come right on out. I'll still start my nut back down and get my nut level with the shaft right there. Get you a brass hammer. If you don't have a brass hammer, lay you a piece of wood and a regular hammer. See how easy? Now all I'll do is take this nut off. 
And there's your shaft with your S-shaped hurricane thunderstorm coming hole. Now you got access to your bearings. If your bearings are bad, see how easy that was to pop out? There's your bearing. You got a center spacer. Then all you can do is just tap a little bit. That other one will pop right out. Put your new bearings, put your new shaft in, and just that simple. Now, if you're going to do the whole spindle, you don't even have to pull it. Well, you do have to pull the blade off. You'll need and that's the same size nut on the bottom as it is at the top. I don't remember what it is. What am I using here? Uh, 24 millimeter. So, but whatever, they might be different on your machine. So do that, pop your blade off, and you don't even need to take this top nut off if you're doing the whole spindle. So let's change guns, and underneath there are four bolts right up under here, and I don't even have to crawl under here. You can feel them and hold your ears. I got four of them. There's your spindle. Oh, there's all the dirt all over my leg. And then all you're gonna do, grab your new spindle, drop it in, run your four bolts up. It's just too easy. Y'all stand by a minute and uh, we're gonna get over here and I'm gonna show you our conversion table on how to find the correct part numbers for what'll fit your machine. So whatever particular machine you have, be sure, get your part number. Data manufacturer will need sometimes. Sometimes you'll need a serial number even because there'll be serial number ranges. Now, once you've gone somewhere like Parks Tree and looked up your OEM spindle number, that's your spindle for your S-shaped hole. There's the part numbers. Then you go over here. Here's your rotary part numbers. At 16111, that's the one we used. So these are for the whole spindle assembly. There's not one available for this particular one here. And if you look over over to the right, there's the shaft. Now I'm gonna zoom here to where, I'll pull out a little bit, give y'all a second there where you can screenshot it if I can hold it still enough. And you can screenshot this thing a little bit or however you wanna do it. So there's your numbers, folks. So y'all are gonna wanna stick around a little bit uh, because I got a couple of tricks up my sleeve yet. Number one, I'm gonna show you how to get this belt on the easy way. And then another one I got, I'm gonna show you how to um, get this deck down so easy that uh, you can get to that center spindle if you're working on one of these wide decks. And it is worth a little mention too that, you know, I got to do a little shout out here to Terrell Fixes All. He was, I guess he was what I first started watching, looking up something one day and kind of inspired me to start doing these videos. And I can't get this bolt started. So thanks Terrell. Junior Slippers, you're awesome. I got another little shout out to do, so y'all stick around. I got a couple stickers I want to show you guys too that I got in the mail. A little FYI, the new spindles, a lot of them are not threaded. Impact is, can y'all see that? An impact is very helpful, so uh, getting these things started. So y'all hold your ears. So you can tell <laughs> the belts around this thing. On these decks, a lot of times there's just a little clip. Lift up on it, push this out the way, and let the deck drop down, and you can get right to it. See all the room in the world now, so you can get right in there to it. Folks, be sure these are old jack stands my daddy made when I was a kid. Uh, be sure you got a jack stand under these, this equipment when you've got it up like this. I really don't want to see anybody uh, get squished by a lawnmower and get injured. That would not be good. One more little thing about these. 
Don't forget to take the little thread protector rubber thing off. You never will get your doggone blade on there. So take that off before you put these spindles on now. These blades that come on them, they got them, they're so thin, they have to cup them for reinforcement. I guess that's why they do that. I don't know. I'm putting this man some big boys on here. They weigh about twice what the OEM blade weighs. And these uh, rotary blades, man, they'll, they're going to last him a while. So here's your basic routing for the belt. Let's see if we can get up under here. Comes around this pulley. Just remember flat side of your belt goes to the flat pulleys and the V side goes to the V pulleys. Now I'm going to show you the easy way to get these belts on and off. You'll want to have them on all your pulleys and leave either the left side or the right side off. I'm going to show you how to do this the easy way. So all you got to do, grab your belt. You know it's on all the pulleys. See it's got some slack here, okay? So what you're going to do is start it and it's gonna be a little tough so I'm grabbing that with my hand there if you need extra help take your hand under here and turn the blade on around just push that blade and it's called walking it on and there it is it's just too easy y'all too easy now all we have to do is put our cover back on and while I'm doing that y'all um Check out old David Kernut. He's got a nice YouTube channel. Does some repairs and flips. I'm going to put it. should be up on the screen right now. A picture of it. And check him out. Thank you for the sticker, David. We appreciate it, my friend. And our other shout out is to DNR Small Adventures. Y'all go check him out. He's doing some different stuff, shooting some scenery and uh, uh, little trips and stuff he's taking now. So y'all go check him out also. Guys, thank y'all very much. We appreciate those stickers, and I'll get those up on our sticker board. And y'all give me a minute, and let me get these screws in. And do this. We'll get off jack stand. Let's go see if this thing's cut some grass. I'm T-Bone. You've been watching Rayleigh Small Engines. We appreciate each and every one of you watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. So give us one of those thumbs up if you think we deserve it. Leave a comment down below. David Kernut, DNR Small Adventures. Thank you for the stickers. Y'all stick around. We're going to go see if this thing will cut some grass.